I'm not against swearing. I'm not one of those people who think that swearing is the devil's work. Words are just words. They're just distinctive sounding utterances that come out of one's mouth. If you swear in front of me, I certainly won't be offended. So why don't I swear? Well, sure, you'll find that I've probably sworn a couple of times in my other videos, either as a result of quoting people or to add emphasis. When I was in high school, I used to swear a lot. One of my Christian friends even approached me and asked me to tone it down a little. He even offered for me to go speak with his church's pastor to help me overcome my swearing. I was using every swear word under the sun. I even created my own words which were simply combinations of other swear words. I remember once referring to a particular chemistry class as a real CF, that is the C word and the F word combined. But I don't swear anymore, at least not in my everyday life, and it all comes down to a single event that happened a couple of years ago. I was driving through the city with my wife and then two-year-old son in the back seat. Another driver cut me off and then I screamed, Watch the effin' road, you effwit! Of course, using the real words. We arrived at the shops and I went to unbuckle my son. As I did, he then said, Effwit! I couldn't believe what I was hearing. The shocked look and probably the slight smile on my face obviously encouraged him to say it again. He started laughing. Because it was so outrageous, I found it hard to contain my laughter. Over the next few days, he said it quite frequently. He was using it completely out of context. For example, he was watching the Teletubbies on TV and just suddenly said, Effwit! He was eating his cereal and looking at the back of the cereal box and would just say, Effwit! I was in the shower with him and then he would just out of nowhere say, Effwit! I had to force myself not to laugh and try to teach him not to say it. But that just seemed to encourage him. So in the end, I found the best course of action was just to ignore it. After about one or two weeks, he finally stopped saying it. I made a promise that day not to swear in front of him again, at least not while he's young. A few months went past and his potty mouth was all cured. But then his grandmother came over to visit and she referred to someone as a dickhead. And then it all began again and my boy started swearing again. Okay, it's not a very bad word, but I can't have him going around calling people dickheads, can I? I made a rule that day that there will be no swearing in front of the children, at least not in my house. What happens outside, obviously I can't control, but at least if I don't swear in front of my children, it's much easier for me to teach them not to say certain words. Leading by example, right? I've always found it funny that some parents swear like troopers but expect their children not to swear. Pot calling the kettle black, perhaps. Anyway, you probably know that I'm against censorship, but I simply can't have my children going around saying the F word and so on. This isn't because I'm trying to silence free speech, but because I'm trying to protect them. We live in a society where you can get into trouble for swearing. At school, kids can get into a lot of trouble. Out in public, people can and do get offended. So now that my son is five years old, if he accidentally says a bad word, I don't get upset. I just explain to him that some people might get angry if he says those sort of words in front of them. It's worked out quite well so far. He understands that some words are considered offensive and for the most part he avoids saying them. I don't want to be a Nazi parent, but I have to be realistic. Some words are taboo in society, for whatever reason. I have to teach my children that if they wish to get on well with the other humans, then they have to obey, sometimes silly, societal rules. There's nothing really wrong with that. As long as people are allowed to express their views in a free and open way, who cares if a couple of words are off limits? Actually, there are many words that are not taboo that are probably more offensive than some swear words. If I called someone a troglodyte, or its short form trog, for example, you trog, then that would probably have more impact than calling them a mother effer. I think simply because the F word is used much more frequently than troglodyte. The F word has somewhat lost its power as it's become more mainstream. Just do a search on Google Ngram and you'll see how popular it has become. See the link below. Actually, the F word has become more popular than the word tidy. I'm not joking. Check it out for yourself. One of my friends from high school who never swore has suddenly become a potty mouth, only in the last couple of years. I, on the other hand, have become the opposite. We've switched roles. He's a parent too, so I find it unusual that he swears so much. He used to use only those fill-in words such as fudge and shoot, but now he uses the real words. In summary, I don't really care if people swear. However, if people swear too much, it means those words will slowly lose their effectiveness. Ultimately, any word can be used to offend. It's not the individual words that hurt, it's the intention behind them. I don't swear anymore, not because I find it offensive, but because I have a couple of parrots in the house who copy everything Daddy says.